Hi, this evening I'd like to share a story with you, taken from a book entitled "The Man with the Violin." This book is a very special book because it is based on a very special event involving the legendary violinist Joshua Bell. Dylan was someone who noticed things. His mom was someone who didn't. One Friday in January was a day like any other, until music. The high notes soared to the ceiling. The low notes shook to the floor. All the notes swirled and swooped around. The blur of people rushing here and rushing there. The music is telling an exciting story. It makes the hairs on the back of Dylan's neck tickle. Mom, wait! The man with the violin sways this way and that. His fingers move quickly. His bow dances across the strings. The skittering notes make Dylan want to dance too. Then the music slows, and the man's eyes close. As if the music is carrying him from bustle, bustle, bustle to somewhere far, far away. Please, Mom, can't we stop? Please. If only they could listen for even a minute. Not today. The man with the violin leans forward. His music makes Dylan's skin hum. Someone begins shouting, "Blabberty, blabberty, blah blah blah!" Dylan leans toward the musician, trying to hear. From the violin comes the saddest sound he has ever heard. The man turns in his direction. Their eyes lock, but the escalator. Pulls Dylan down, 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 and away. Busting out of the tunnel, a loud clattering. Dylan strains to hear the music, but rumble. The train gobbles up the faint notes with its roar. All day, the music Dylan heard that morning plays in his head. On the way home, he says, "Mum, do you think maybe that man will still be there?" His mum says, "What man?" Rain patters, dishes clatter, a voice on the radio drones on and on until suddenly. Music, telling a story that makes the apartment bigger and brighter, and Dylan shouts, "That's the man in the station!" The music fades. The voice on the radio says, "Today, over a thousand people had the chance to hear one of the finest musicians in the world." Joshua Bell was playing some of the most elegant music ever written, on one of the most valuable violins ever made. Yet few people listened for even a minute. Dylan says, "I knew it. We should have stopped. We should have listened." Into a pot of bubbling water spills the spaghetti. Again, the musical story slips and slides through the air, and Dylan can almost see the man with the violin standing on tiptoes to reach the high notes. Dylan, you're right. His mom turns up the radio, loud and sweet. The music fills every corner of the apartment. And together, Dylan and his mom dance. Together, they listen.
the next time you hear a man on the violin or a woman on an oboe, do stop and listen to the music. Thank you for listening.